Now, normally when we talk about something hidden under the ice, we're referring to Antarctica, right? Not this time. Scientists were stunned to discover what's hidden under the ice in Greenland. Let's go throughout history. Our planet has been through multiple ice ages and has been fully covered in ice at least twice, from the poles to the equator. The Earth was a giant snowball at least several times. Today, the landscape has transformed, the ice is starting to rapidly melt, and scientists are wondering what secrets could be concealed beneath this frozen tundra. This is the second largest ice sheet on Earth, with an impressive thickness of nearly 2 miles, covering 80% of Greenland. Here, rapid glaciers like Jakobshavn move at an astonishing 150 feet per day, reshaping the landscape while coastal waters create icebergs towering 300 feet, about the height of the Statue of Liberty. But these things are not what make the island unique. To this day, the frozen surface hides all kinds of secrets, but scientists have already started uncovering some of them, and what they found was difficult to predict. Although Greenland is over three times the size of Texas, its total population is just 56,000 people, the lowest population density in the world. Frigid temperatures make the majority of the island uninhabitable, but along the southwest coast, the warming effect of the Gulf Stream results in moderate temperatures, creating a comfortable habitat. That's where a third of the population resides. In the central part of Greenland, temperatures remain below zero at all times, and the snow there never melts, gradually accumulating instead. When new snow falls on the Greenland ice sheet, it's initially light and fluffy with a density of about 50 to 70 kilograms per cubic meter. As it gets covered with new layers, all this weight compresses the layers below, increasing their density. At a depth of over 260 feet, air bubbles within the snow cannot compress any further and the snow solidifies into glacier ice. In total, there's 695,000 cubic miles of ice in Greenland, which is thought to have been there for hundreds of thousands to millions of years. But Greenland wasn't always frozen. Beneath its icy cover lies a colossal rocky island that was once a flourishing haven where life thrived amidst valleys, rivers, and numerous lakes. Even today, not all of Greenland is ice-covered. Moving to the southernmost reaches of Greenland, there's the Chingua Valley, the only forested area on the island. As temperatures continue to rise, it's possible that this green patch of land will trigger the spread of vegetation to other parts of the island, gradually making it green again. In 1966, U.S. military scientists drilled through nearly a mile of ice in northwestern Greenland, discovering a once green past. They found twigs, leaves, and unique, perfectly preserved fossil plants. Scientists describe their state as freeze-dried. If you pour some water on them, they'll unfurl, looking almost as if they were frozen just yesterday. About 400,000 years ago, parts of Greenland had spruce forests and tundra, a flat, cold, and windy area without trees but with resilient low-lying plants. Today, on one hand, this is exciting. The history that could be up under this ice, the information we will gather and obtain all up under this ice, that's a great thing. On the other hand, I'm terrified of what could be released. Certain things could have been frozen, certain types of diseases and viruses and different things like that. When that ice melts, those glaciers melt, and it's released back into the atmosphere and spreads, it could be something that could wipe a good amount of us out. So, you are kind of torn with the history, but I think the other alternative is much worse. And all this serves as a time capsule, allowing us to peek into Greenland's ancient ecosystems. Greenland's thick ice sheets act as an insulator. The ground beneath remains shielded from the frigid temperatures and winds above, while the Earth's internal heat warms the ground from below. In some areas, the ice sheet is firmly attached to frozen ground, providing stability, but closer to the edges of the ice sheet, where it's thinner, the base is thawed and the ice is laying over moist soil. If there's enough water beneath, it can make the ice flow faster, and this more rapid flow rate can potentially accelerate the melting rate. Currently, the ice sheet in Greenland melts away at a rate of over 200 billion tons per year, enough to fill almost 91 million Olympic swimming pools, which hold 660,430 gallons of water each. If it melts entirely, the global sea level will rise approximately 23 feet, 
causing devastating damage to millions of people who live along the world's coasts. According to a study made in 2019, around 680 million people reside in low-lying coastal regions. By 2050, this number could surpass well over a billion. Right now, Greenland loses more ice than it accumulates. Although it will probably take a long time for all the ice to melt, the staggering magnitude of the ice sheet is hard to grasp. Its weight has built so much pressure that it led to a depression in the central part of the island 1,000 feet below sea level. And the same thing happened about 20,000 years ago. A colossal weight pushed parts of the earth lower into the crust. Ice sheets were all over the world. Scandinavia, the Arctic, and a large part of the USA and Canada were all covered in ice. Currently, something interesting happens to these areas. Think of our planet's surface as a massive shape memory mattress. Press down on it, and it'll compress, but once you remove the pressure, it'll slowly start to go back to its initial form. In a similar way, as ice sheets shrink, the land under the ice rises while the neighboring territories adjust by sinking. This process is very slow, and some regions are still recovering, while others, like the United States' east coast, will continue sinking for thousands of years. Compared to other parts of the Earth, regions like these are at much higher risk of higher sea levels. Today, Greenland is anything but green, but scientists have already been able to have a look underneath its ice cover, revealing what the island's been hiding for centuries. In 2013, a new canyon was discovered. It's over 460 miles long, 6 miles wide, and about 2,600 feet deep, escaping into the ocean. The island's icy veil doesn't only hide a mysterious past, but also a rich reservoir of natural resources. Geological surveys suggest the presence of rare earth elements and precious metals. Elements found in Greenland's bedrock, such as neodymium, dysprosium, and europium, are critical in the production of modern electronics, renewable energy technologies, and different high-tech applications. The island's subglacial terrain could also harbor precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum. But also, there's water, and a lot of it, locked within the vast expanses of the Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets. It holds more than 68% of the Earth's freshwater supply. Greenland's unique geological features hold massive potential for geothermal energy development, a sustainable alternative to traditional energy sources. The idea is to harness heat from the Earth's interior that escapes to the surface. The process is known as heat flow, and the area along Greenland's west coast shows heat flow three times higher than the island's average. Unlike fossil fuels, geothermal power generation produces minimal greenhouse gas emissions. Perhaps one day, Greenland will be humanity's ticket to a carbon-free lifetime. All this makes Greenland a treasure trove of valuable resources but it's also a place where Mother Nature reveals just how creative it can be. In 2010, scientists stumbled across peculiar formations beneath the Greenland ice sheet. At first, they thought these might be ghost mountains, like those found in Antarctica, but as it turned out later, they were wrong. Known as jelly roll sculptures, they are icy formations as big as Manhattan skyscrapers, and there are dozens of them in Greenland. Just imagine how vast the space between the island's icy cover and its bedrock should be to fit something this massive. The gigantic features are made of an unusual ice. It doesn't consist of layers, but is rather twisted or rolled, and it can be as old as 120,000 years. Using radar imaging, researchers discovered that jelly roll sculptures can be found just below Greenland's white landscape. The island was long considered like a layered cake, but one that's made of snow. Although as you go deeper, peeling off layer after layer, at some point they are no longer flat. The ice down there looks more like it's been bent or folded several times. There's a lot of science behind how that happens, but in simple terms, ice grows from the bottom up. When the ice sheet melts and refreezes, it's somewhat like building a sandcastle. The wet sand you pour solidifies at the base, adding substance to the lower layers. Similarly, the frozen ice adds to the layers, creating a complex folded structure beneath the seemingly flat surface that's been forming for hundreds or even thousands of years. 
But deep below the mighty ice sheet, there's something much, much older. Back when Greenland was still a temperate rainforest, the island was struck by an asteroid 0.9 miles across. The impact was probably millions of times more powerful than an atomic bomb, enough to cause earthquakes of magnitude 9 and massive wildfires. Luckily, it all happened after the dinosaurs had already gone extinct and long before the first humans. The asteroid left behind what's known today as a 19-mile-wide Hiawatha crater, which is currently sitting below 3,000 feet of ice. Discovered in 2018, its location played a significant role. The crater is lying under the northwestern edge of the ice sheet. The flowing stream from below the sheet contained sediments that suggested they were once exposed to rapid and extreme heating. By studying sand grains. From the impact site, scientists figured the asteroid hit the ground at a speed of 12 miles per second. The event itself is relatively fresh for Earth. It took place less than 3 million years ago, which is also the time when the first human ancestors appeared. If the asteroid had changed its trajectory and hit a different spot, our world today would have looked different. But it's still unclear how exactly the impact affected Greenland's climate back then. The massive pressure of the impact was enough to melt the ice around the crater, flooding the island with melted water. What's happening in Greenland today might be a window into the future, but scientists can't predict all the consequences. And the planet's past may hold some clues about what's in store for us.